Hello folks, let's have a look at combat in Armor Group Center. This is the 3W version of uh, the exploration of Operation Barbarossa's Armor Group Center initial push into the Belarus area. So let's just drool in on one combat and get a little feel for it and see what happens. Let me find some tweezer action so I don't uh, stumble around here. Uh, we're going to be uh, attacking this little regiment here, so it's a, almost a fait accompli that something bad is going to happen to the unit. And we're bringing the uh, 18th Panzer Combined Arms Force here from the 47th Panzer Army, or whatever they call Corps, um, across this river, through the entrenchments, and there's a bridge here, so the, the bridge is going to negate the river effect, but it won't negate the entrenchment effect. And these little counters on top here are mode counters, and there are several modes of uh, activity. Uh, you can be in mobile offense mode, like this. You can be in uh, prepared offense mode. You can be in uh, standing defense mode or withdrawing defense mode. You can be disrupted, a number of different types, re uh, reserve mode, etc., etc. So, in the very opening turn, the Soviets have to be in either uh, prepared offense mode or in uh, mobile offense mode. And this provides the seven there is our casualty number, which is a number we're going to roll against based on the CRT, and that's going to determine whether or not we take a step loss. So here's what you do here. It's a differential-based combat system. So we take all the combat factors, four plus three is seven, and we launch ourselves across the river at these guys, and they have a one. So that we start out with a plus six differential, and we are going to move two columns to the left for the entrenchments. Because we're coming across the bridge, it's not going to negate the, uh, the, the the defensive value of the river. So we're going to be on the plus six column in the clear, and we're going to drop back to for the, uh, the entrenchments. So we're now on the plus four column in the clear. And that leaves us with on a D10 result with one, two, three, four opportunities for the Germans to take losses. So the Germans decide to apply air, and air works in a kind of a funky way. Basically, you take this number here, and this is the range that it's effective for. So this has a range of all these hexes here, excluding this one for the flak for this hex, but let's not worry about that. And then I can also use this guy. He has a range of three and a strength of three. And I can add eight to the, uh, to the result, to a casualty check result. So that's pretty powerful. And you'll see how that works in just a second. We also get to add, uh, in terms of column shifts, uh, the total number of armor points. So we're going to move four column shifts to the right for that. We've got our HQ here in the background. He's in communications. He's going to get to add his combat value, which is one. We're going to move another column shift to the right. Um, there's if you have differing modes going on here, there there's penalties. There are none of there's none of those factors uh, going into the equation. And just to keep things simple, I uh, I also, just for the experiment, wanted to see what happens if I used a second army's forces. They're attacking across the river and they're halved because they're not attacking across a bridge, a bridge hex side. And uh, that, so that would be three factors. But because I'm using a different army, so I've now got two army groups involved. I've got this panzer group uh, two, I think it is, uh, Guderian's group, and I've got... Um, this group here, this, uh, I, I erased the, the little chalkboard here, so I forget, I think it's 4th Army. Doesn't matter. Uh, uh, so I, 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 I get a negative uh, to the left, to the left. Net of all that, the HQs and the air and all that sort of good fun stuff. Uh, sorry, not the air, the armor. And uh, I'm trying to th see what else there might be here. I think we got the entrenchments. Ends up being a plus 9 attack if I've done this correctly. So I rolled a die and we got a, uh, a, a three result. And what that means is I take this number, seven, and I've got to roll a die. And if I roll a die and add three to it, plus the uh, air of eight, 
And if that number is larger than that number, then we take a step loss. So 7, 8 plus 3 is uh, 11. So plus the die roll number. Uh, what did I roll here? Oh, yeah, that's at 3. So I roll the 3. So that's a 14 total. 14 is greater than 7. We're going to take a step loss. He would, uh, he would die. And this comes off. Look at that hacked up counter. Uh, so he comes off. And we put him in the dead bucket. And if he was a division, we would uh, we would adjust the morale rating for the army. But he's not. So the morale rating of the army in question, which is six here. Right, it's in that pile there. All of the armies except for um, two, uh, six. Yeah, the 10th Army is 7. So he's actually in the 10th Army, so he's a 7. So we, we would we would uh, look at that, and if, if, if the unit was still there and we failed the morale roll, which is the second number on, on these, these things, then he would become disrupted and have to retreat. So now we would get to advance after combat and all that sort of fun stuff. So that would be, this is the very first combat in the very first game turn. You... Uh, do your air war first, then you combat, then you, uh, I think you, then you have the reserve move for the, um, you do the, uh, yeah, Soviet reserve move, then the German move, then the Soviets do their command phase in the PM turns only, and then we have Soviet combat, German reserve, and Soviet move. Uh, so that's a combat, pretty straightforward, pretty simple stuff. I really kind of like the, that there's a, enough granularity here to keep it interesting, there's a few things to remember, but it's got a nice little combat modifiers table, which I'll zoom out and I'll show you real quickly. You've got this uh, little uh, modifiers table here, so you just run down the list to make sure you don't miss anything. Got your CRT here, and it looks very much like the Victory in the West CRT, where you've got the terrain over here on the left-hand side, and then a, a sliding scale of, uh, of uh, differentials versus odds in this case, and then you've got your results here. The numbers on the right are the defender, of course. The number on the left would be the attacker rolling to see if they take a loss. And a C is just a check. That's a raw check with no modifiers. So the air is, is a very influential if you can bring it in. And I'll, I'll show you in some later videos what this, because this is actually an air zone of three hexes wide. That's going to have an impact on, on uh, morale checks. And, uh, and other checks for, uh, casualty checks for uh, units that are fighting in that zone. It's pretty nifty. Talk to you guys soon. We'll see how this all plays out uh, as we go. And I look forward to following up with you with a little more detail. I may try and do a live session tonight, which is Saturday. Uh, I'll try and post this up right now.